this time we'll be cooking up something extra special which requires quite a bit of work but I guarantee you it'll be worth all your effort. First up we take a trip down to the beautiful Gunung Payung beach located at the southern tip of the island of Bali. Finally we hit the beach where some friend and I hang out for a bit enjoying the sun, the sand, the beautiful sea as we wait for the tide and waves to go down a little you'll see why later. Now what we're looking for today are in fact sea urchins. They are usually located at reef areas hidden under and in between rocks. So if you're lucky they'll come off easily but some might require a bit of effort. Now the hardest part about this will be fighting the strong currents but hard work makes for a sweeter glory later on. Check out a catch for today. It was definitely fun, not easy, as uh, sea urchin tends to move during high tide and hide under rocks during low tide. So we literally had to swim our way around it in order to get them. But the catch today was pretty intense, very satisfying. And now we're going to show you how to clean them in order to remove the roll, which is going to be the key ingredient in our pasta that we're going to show you today. Okay, how to clean sea urchin. Take it very carefully because the spikes are very sharp and look for the bottom part which has the eye. Okay, make an incision right through it and cut halfway through the body and turn and carefully, very sharp, cut all your way around it because you want to separate in half. Once you get it two halves, we're halfway through. So we're going to lay it down and later rinse them and clean all of them. So now that I open all my sea urchin. I'm going to show you how to clean them up. Usually the roll sits in the upper half of the searching and there's a little bit of impurity. So with the aid of a teaspoon, you slowly, gently remove all the sands in bits and pieces. Don't worry too much as we will strain it through a fine sieve before we're going to incorporate it in our recipe. And then once you remove it from the impurity, just rinse it with a little bit of water. And this is what you get. So with the aid of a spoon, you just gently, and it's gonna come off really easy. Take a hold the rope, look at that. show you how to do the final stage which is the cleaning. We need the finest possible sieve that you have and a clean bowl. We're 
just going to pass all the eggs to the sieve in order to strain it from any sand or any spike left that we might still find. This is our final product, it is the rope which has been strained, free from sands, impurity, any spice. I know it's a tedious job, but I'll guarantee you it will pay off once we go to cook it together with our pasta later. We're finally back in the kitchen and uh, we're going to start the preparation of, the, of our spaghetti with sea urchin. The ingredients that we're going to need for this recipe are going to be extra virgin olive oil, fresh garlic, a red chili, green zucchini, the sea urchin roe that we cleaned earlier on, fresh parsley, and lastly, some dry spaghetti pasta. First step is, since it's a really quick and easy recipe, is to switch on the fire. So we have water, we have five liter of water, we have 20 grams of salt, and we're just going to switch on the fire and leave it on. Once the water comes to a boil, we add salt, it's 20 grams per liter, and the pasta goes in. We're going to cover the pot and let the pasta cook until al dente. In this case, it will be for about 8 to 9 minutes. So let's get started with our ingredients. I'm taking the garlic, I'm lightly crushing it with the aid of a knife. I want to peel it and remove the middle part so I can carry on into slicing it very thinly. Now as for the chili, I want to cut out and remove the end part. I then slice it in half and remove all the seeds. I then proceed to slice it really fine. I now take my zucchini, I cut the both ends, cut it in half, as you can see, remove the seeds and dice it. So the first step, take a pot, warm it up and add a bit of olive oil. we add in the fresh garlic to the olive oil. Let it sweat for a while without coloring and we're going to add our zucchini which we previously diced. We now add in the chili. and a bit of water from the pasta. Now that the pasta is ready, we drain it and add it to the sauce. We mix well and now it's finally the time to add our sea urchin. We switch off the fire, we mix well we add the parsley, let's check the seasoning, making sure the salt is good enough. Now we're going to plate our pasta. I 
and is ready to serve.